Hi everyone, I'm Matt Charles. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm actually going to be reviewing a hat instead of doing a harmonica video here. And I'm here with Elmore, who's in the shot, because he believes this is his sofa. And he's just cute. He can stay here. But uh, the hat is the Akubra Federation 4. And this is made in Australia. And it's a fur felt hat, and it came with an open crown. I put the crease in the pinch in the hat myself and I had bought this as kind of a Christmas present to myself to replace my Stetson Temple which was really looking rough I mean it doesn't look very good anymore it doesn't take rain well it's not really any body to the felt uh, it had never held up as much as I'd like it to but, uh, so I ordered the Federation 4, and I had sent my measurements to the Hattery in Katoomba, and I'm just under a size 59, and I like to have a little bit of room in case the hat shrinks. And they went through and measured every single size 59 and 60 they had to get the one that fit best for me and they take a hat gauge and just look at the measurement and they told me they had found a size 60 hat in the note they put in with it that measured a bit small it's a 59 and a quarter but it allows me to have the perfect fit and if it was a little big I did put a tiny little piece of foam but I'll probably take that out once it shrinks a little. The leather will shrink in most fedoras. I'm not expecting this one to shrink a lot just because of how thick and tough the felt is. The other thing that's really interesting about this hat is despite having the really thick felt, which I'd say it's not a Western felt. I'd say it's halfway between a Western felt and a dress felt, which... A dress felt, I would say, is like the Stetson Whippet here, which is, you know, it's a little floppier. It does hold its shape pretty well with the uh, binding on the edge. Uh, this one has a C crown, so you can't really shape it yourself. This did shrink about a whole centimeter, uh, so I got to get that one stretched out. But yeah, they went through and found me one that fit perfect. And the other thing that really blew me away about their customer service, the one they found that fit me best was the deluxe version. And I had paid for just the normal Federation. And the deluxe, I think, is like $20 more US. Uh, I'm not sure what the Australian prices were. And... They sent me the deluxe one without charging me any extra or they just wanted me to have the right fit and you know i greatly appreciate that they did that and i got my new favorite hat now now i do own one other akubra which is the adventurer and the adventurer is closer to a western felt like brim's very rigid still easily shapeable just like the federation because uh, you know you steam it and it kind of just stays the way you put it. This was another open crown one. I just put a pinch. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of people use both of these hats, actually, to make Indiana Jones hats for uh, cosplaying. This one, I've seen people use the uh, brown one to make a Raiders of the Lost Ark hat and put the special pinch and uh, put the turn in it. Um, felt's a bit thicker than the floppy rabbit felt that uh, Indiana Jones used, but you can get pretty close looking. I was not looking for an Indiana Jones hat. I just wanted a very 1930s looking hat that would withstand the elements and, you know, performing on stage as a musician and just me not having to baby the hat. Uh, just for comparison, I did bring out my... Stetson Premier Stratoliner. I think this was made around 2016. I bought it on clearance in 2018. It's another open crown hat, but it's more of a uh, 
dress felt, even though this is a thicker felt than the Whippet or the uh, Temple, which uh, is very floppy right now. But yeah, I, I put the crease into this. Um, it's a bit thinner than the felt used in the Federation. I did have the brim flatten out on me, and I actually had to take a uh, iron and a handkerchief and steam a new uh, flange and uh, snap back into it, which it, it did come back pretty well. But I chose the Federation basically because I wanted something to just take the shape I want and stay that way. And I think this hat's going to fill that role extremely well. And if you're looking to purchase one of these for, from the Hattery in Katoomba, just send them your measurements, uh, email them. They went out of their way to get me the perfect fitting hat. And this is gonna be my new favorite hat. I, I, I just absolutely love the look of this thing. And I think if you're interested in one, you should go ahead and get one. And uh, they'll uh, make sure you get the right one. Hope that helps you out.